Hi. Good morning. Morning. How's everybody? Not bad. How are you? Yeah, hanging in there. <sighs> Talk about being lazy. Okay. Woo. Just go. Switch direction. Shoulders. Switch. Elbows. Switch. Wrist. And switch. Go ahead, stretch it out. We're up, bend to one side, hip one direction, arms the opposite, the other side. Release, hips. Switch. Bees. Switch. Squat. Ankles. Did you rest to the switch? The other side. Okay. Let's um one minute. All right, uh, jog around and then in between, um, go ahead and do uh, 10 burpees. Jog around with your arms. Incorporated.
找你 place in calories. All right, shuffle, right? Shuffle, shuffle, squat, and swipe the floor. Um, actually, shuffle, shuffle, and sprawl. So, boom, 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 sprawl. One, two, three, sprawl, right? Go. Okay, take it over here. Whew. Okay, thanks. Um, let's just go into the shadow boxing and then we'll figure out what we wanna do, but it's great to be winded and go right into it. So let's do um, one round of shadow boxing, um, two minutes, the first minute, start slow and deliberate. Then the second minute, I'll tell you when, you're gonna speed up. Try to go fast, the second minute. So get set, and go. So one minute, you're just getting into it, the first minute. Trying to really focus on hip movement, you know, um, waist twist. Pivoting your feet. All right, then pick up the pace. Fast as you can now. Can I unpause? Bell might ring right now, ignore it, keep going. Keep the speed up. Faster. 
faster, faster, lots of punches, fast as you can. All right. Okay, so um, is there anything um, particular that people want to work on? Something that you've been, I have a couple ideas of things we could do, but is there something people have had questions about or feel like they want to practice with? How about this? We could either focus on um, uh, taking angles, which is a little more punching focus, though there'll be some kicking, or we could focus on kick combinations. Any votes for either of those? I'm down for angles. Cool. You good with angles, Molly? Okay, so let's focus on that. So let's, um, let's start with that. So let's start in our stance. We're gonna do a quick, um, you know, set of practice with, um, with pivoting, and then we'll do some combinations where we take angles in the combination. So you're gonna get in your stance. The first angle we're gonna do is, let's do one round of this one. Um, uh, actually, we'll do that one, we'll do that one second. So let's, we're gonna start with pivoting off the front foot. So the front foot's the pivot point. That's the pivot we more often do um, in kickboxing, or at least in my classes. So we're gonna do a, like a 360, you know, going in all four directions. Um, so uh, when I say go, you're going to um, step out a little bit. When you step out like that, you step out a little bit pigeon toed uh, rather than a step out like a kick because I'm actually gonna be turning my body this way. So I want my foot to end up, you know, be where it's already gonna be ending up. So I step out a little bit pigeon toed with my left, pull my right back. So we're gonna do four of those and then we'll add a punch um, also. So one, step pivot, two, three, four. Now, same thing, but we're gonna add, a, uh, now when we do it, we're gonna add a cross. And one thing you can think about, sorry, I'm leaving it so you can see my, my uh, let me move this back a little bit so you can at least see some of my head. Um, something to, I can raise it a little bit, I guess, here. So when you pivot and throw a cross, um, think about really, you know, um, what um, Jamal calls going past. Like I could just pivot and face you, you know, in my regular stance, which is a good thing to do. But here I might even pivot and twist a little extra to set up my cross. So I'm pivoting, I'm twisting my left a little extra in front and throwing a cross. And this cross isn't a big extended cross necessarily. I'm trying to, I've been trying to lure the person in close to me and I can just throw a really, you know, it could be a, a kind of a short cross, just really focus on getting that twist. So we'll do four of those, pivot and cross. So one, two, pivot, turn, cross. Three, four. Good, one more set. One, two, three, Four. Okay, so now we're gonna pivot the other way. This way is a little more awkward. Um, we're gonna step a little bit across, or like not across, but you know, step our left foot in a little bit, still pigeon toed. Then we're gonna swing out. Am I doing that right? Hold on. Yes. <laughs> I've been doing it in orthodox and south pod. I get confused. Um, so you're gonna step across a tiny bit, pivot. So we'll just do one set where we just do the pivots, and we'll do it all, you know, all the way around in a circle. So one. Step pivot, two, three, four. And now we'll add the punch in. So we'll get this, this punch is a hook. So I'm gonna step, pivot. And again, now I'm gonna turn a little past hook. So I could just step and pivot and be in my stance. That would be if I was missing up a push kick or something. But here I'm gonna go a little past. So I'm really twisted so I can throw the, the um, left hook. So it's gonna be step, pivot, twist, hook. So one, two, three, four. One more time around, one, two, three, Four. Good. 
And then um, now let's just practice the front, um, the pivot off the back leg. And we're just gonna focus on legs, we're gonna do it both ways. So let's, um, so when we're doing this pivot, now this is more, we're, we're gonna put them together in the combinations, but this one, I'm, I'm just moving my front foot. So I'm trying, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying to, um, to I, can, I can move the back leg a little as needed. You know, or I could just, or I could just turn through my hip if it's not bothering my knee. Sometimes when I'm doing it, I have to, you know, do sort of micro pivots of this foot as I'm, you know, because it can be hard on your knee to, you don't want your knee to be in some weird position. But I'm mostly focusing on just moving the front leg. And let's do this. Let's do, let's do one set where we just go tap in, tap out. When I'm doing this, I'm most of the weight is on my back leg. So. I'm not bringing the weight to my front leg. I'm just going tap, 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 tap. So let's do 10 of those together. I'll just count them. You can start out or in, it doesn't matter. When you go across out, when you go in, you're trying not to cross your stance, but just get maybe a little bit, you know, like a narrow stance, which could be setting up a side kick or something um, or a spinning technique. So we'll do 10. So go one, two, three, four, that's five. We're gonna do 26, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice. And then let's do one set where we go. Um, so now we're going to do a set. Maybe we'll just do this in a minute on your own pace, but we'll try it out first. Where we're going to use, because you can use this as a slip or you can use it as a jab. A cross, it's really nice for a cross if you're doing this and then you go, because it really opens up. You don't have to like twist so much. It just opens the path for the cross. So, um, but you have to be a little careful because it does kind of expose your um, abdomen for being kicked. You want to be ready to catch a kick if it comes in. But let's do, so the combination is going to be jab, jab, no, sorry, uh, slip, slip, jab, cross, slip, slip, jab, cross. Give it a try and see if it makes sense. Jab, cross. So again, your weight is never coming off that back foot, except a little bit on the cross, it goes to like a 50-50. Otherwise, it's more like a 60-40 or, you know, even a, or, yeah, or even a 70-30. It's like, you know, there's some weight on your front foot, but most is on your back. The only time it comes more, more even is on the cross. So you're trying to really, and then again, do though pivot your, micro pivot your foot as needed to keep good knee alignment. All right, so we'll do one minute. Of that and go. All right, nice. Okay, so let's do some combinations building on that. So um, let's start with, work some out. I'll work them out. Take a sip of water. We're gonna work out a couple combinations just to, rather than work them out while you're waiting. Waiting. Let's do.
All right, so when you're ready, Okay, so the first one's going to be starting just like we were doing before. So it's going to be slip, slip, jab, cross. As we retract this cross, we're going to pivot, cross, hook, right roundhouse kick. So it's slip, slip, jab, cross, pivot, cross, hook, kick. Um, one more time. Slip in. Oh, sorry, I'm using my foot though for the slip. Slip, slip, jab, cross, pivot. So as I retract the cross, pivot, cross, hook, kick. And I think one way that would make sense to do it was kind of the rhythm that I was using. You can kind of use a steady rhythm as you're learning it, but as it's comfortable, increasing the pace after the pivot would really make sense where you're kind of going along, slip, slip, jab, cross, pivot, cross, hook, kick. So after you pivot, you might change the pace up um, to, um, you know, use that explosiveness after you've changed angles. So let's try that. We'll do a round. So a two minute round. So you can move around in between and then work on that combo. Get set. Here's the thing here. And go. And don't forget, because I'm going to forget, <laughs> I keep forgetting it, to, um, to, when I say slip, slip in my head, I forget that in this case, this is a different sort of slip. Keep going, keep going. But um, but this is the this is the slip with a foot, not a slip with just pivoting in place. Just don't forget the don't forget the pivot on the first moves. If you're like me and you're an auditory learner, I hear slip and I forget. Break. Let's work this out. Okay, so next one is going to be this. So it's going to be here. Let me just make. Let me just make sure this is right before I say it. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do. I'll just say it. I'm assuming you're listening. We're going to do three um, uh, slips. So we're going to be, or we're going to do three, sorry, not slips, but that pivot, that front leg pivot, and we're going to throw jabs. So we're going to go jab, 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 spinning kick. So again, jab, 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 spin kick. Since this one is shorter and it builds up the last one, we'll do it a little shorter time, a minute, so we can get in one last um, combo after this. I'll make sure that that's right. Yeah. So, um, so again, we're using, now we're just using the pivot with, with um, jabs. Jab in, jab out, jab in, spinning kick. And this is really common. Um, you know, this I don't usually use this kind of pivot that much, and Jamal always wants me to, and it's just not that um, I'm not that used to it. But that's a way that kickboxers use it a lot. Is kind of jabbing your foot at different angles. In fact, let's do this. Let's do well. Let's do it this way. Let's do the. We'll do a minute and a half 
The first half, we'll do it the way I showed you. The second half, we'll do it more free form where you're just throwing jabs, moving your foot um, and going into a more free form version of it. I'll tell you when to switch. So get set. So first, first uh, 45 seconds is the first version of that. And go. So it's jab, jab, jab. Seconds like this. Okay, now switch to more free form. So you just throw jabs with your foot at different angles. You can even make some of them slips. And then when you think the person is properly lulled into complacency, then you step across. All right, nice. Okay, last combination is this. Jab, cross, hook. When I throw the hook, I'm gonna step across. Jab, cross, hook, pivot out, hook, cross, push kick, right, push kick. So again, jab, cross, hook and pivot, or sorry, hook and step, jab, cross, hook and step, pivot, second hook, cross, right, push kick, jab, cross, step and hook, pivot, hook again, cross, push kick. People got it? We'll do a minute and a half of that. And go. You can, we've been doing a lot of things where you spin and sort of move back to the front, but for this one, you can just stay where you are afterwards, shadow box, and do it again. All right, break. Okay. Switch over to some grappling. Grab the mat. Go ahead and take a sip of water.
All right, we're going to do a drill. Uh, so I'm going to have my right leg back, right? Um, Stigo stance. And the same right leg is going to, my arm's going to stretch when I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to shoot in, right? And then my left arm is, um, we're going to do a motion where we're picking up the leg. So it looks like this, I'm staggered. And I'm going to go shoot in it's the bottom, staggered. So shoot in. So my right arm is coming in at the chest. We're pushing them back so that the weight is pushed at the chest. If I'm the uh, opponent, I'm being pushed at the chest and my weight goes back and my legs are a little lighter, right? So here again, I'm here, I'm gonna slide in, I'm gonna come in, extend your arm like, you know, you wanna think about being a, a freight train coming in and you're picking up, right? So, um, Let's do that uh, 10 on each side. Start with the right leg back. So we're gonna come in and shoot in and pick up the leg and then go back. That's one, come in, shoot. Come back, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Switch stance. The other side. So the other. Your left leg is back. Left leg is going to extend. So let's go. Go. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good Lord. Okay. Now let's switch back. Now we're gonna do the same movement, but we're gonna pick up the leg and then put the leg. We're gonna do single leg, pick up the leg, boom, pick up, bring it up between your, your uh, leg here, right? So it's really, this is what it would look like. Right, this is the right leg. The right leg of my, so I'm gonna come in, boom, come in, grab the right leg, put it between my um, leg here, and my arm when I'm holding the leg, it's um, this is the arm that's gonna be inside my partner. My right arm's gonna be inside of my partner, so I'm gonna protect that arm. The outside arm is gonna be holding, supporting, right and the left leg is over here. So I'm here. So the grip is like this. The inside arm is protected by the arm that's outside. So again, I'm gonna come in, freight train, boom, pick up the leg, step that leg back, boom. And the arm, the hand that's picking up the leg is gonna come in, send your knee here, right? So do that a, a, a couple of times or a few times. And now once you get the leg, try not to stay in one place because really like take down, you have to do a lot of angles. So keep there and then move around, boom, 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 for a little bit and then drop, repeat. All right, 
So now you have the leg, right? The leg between you, the outside arm is holding the inside arm. Good posture. You don't want to be bending over. Good posture here. And you're going to move around, boom, boom, boom. And when you're ready for the takedown, the outside, right, the left arm, you need to like lift it up and bring your tricep on top of the arm. It's kind of hard for me to do it with this, but with a person's leg, you'll come up and bring the, the tricep on top. So you want to mimic that, come up. And then from here, you're really going to press the arm this way and your leg moving opposite. So your shoulders are going to the right and your left leg is gonna go to the left, right? So you get the leg, you're gonna move around, boom, boom, when you're ready, bring that shoulder up, really press down on the on the on um, your partner's thigh and then swing in. Does that make sense? So again, you're, you're here, you're gonna be like this, bring the arm in and pressing down with your left shoulder, your right leg, that back. Yeah. So do that starting from the beginning, right? Give you some time. So starting from the beginning here, you're gonna go come in, pick up the leg, boom, get the grip, walk, walk, shoulder up, and then swing. And then go back again. Um, when you get used to that, you can switch to the other side, give you Wait, I'm sorry, I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, I just, when you, you, um, you brought your shoulder up and like, you know, sort of trapped the leg with your arm. Mm -hmm. I just wondered when you do it fast, is that still like a separate step or is that all one piece that you do that and then pull them down and step back? Uh, well, ideally, right, is you do it one piece. Oh, one. Okay. Yeah. Just checking, because sometimes, sometimes yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to be skipping a step. Here and boom, and then go, one yeah. piece, yeah. Cool. Thank so you. that's part of a jujitsu drilling is like initially you break everything down, but the reason for drilling is to cut like maybe five steps into like three or four, you know? Oh, I just know there's some, there's some times where it's important to make it two steps and sometimes where you're flowing it. Yeah, so. no, no, boom, boom, right? And then boom, 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 distract them, shoulder, boom. Thank you. Yeah. Try the other side if you haven't yet. All right, so you get there, you have the arm, boom, boom, and you're turn, you know, moving around and you bring your shoulder up and you're shifting. Sometimes they have good balance and they recover, right? If they're like coming down, because a lot of times what happens to most of us is we either don't go down, we recover, what do we do, right? We recover by doing the opposite. So when you go like this and you can't take them down, when they come up, you're gonna go boom, the other side now, okay? So when they come, you go boom, boom, shift to the other side now, right? So let's do that.
Okay. Another option you can do is you're up here, you're holding the leg. You're gonna um, now feed the leg to the outside arm, the arm that you're grabbing, the outside arm. And this, right, on the side is the other leg, the left leg. So this arm is gonna go into the thigh and block the thigh here, right? So one is holding the leg, the other one coming in and blocking the thigh. So you're coming in blocking the thigh here. And then the opposite leg, you're gonna bring the leg outside here and shoulder press, right? So you're here, hand, you're gonna feed that to this hand, right? And then this is gonna thigh pry the other thigh. You're gonna come around this way, your leg come on this way, and then your shoulder home on the leg. So they're bringing them down that way. Does that make sense? Yeah? Okay, so. Can we see it one more time? Or yeah, let me see if I can find, um, actually, I think I have a video, just give me a second. Even without it, just wanna practice it with you doing it before I do it on my own. Yeah, but let me see if I, 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 I had a video set up, I thought, hold on just a second. Sorry. No, it's not. Oh, it's not here. Oh my God. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I am going to share the video. You find it. Oh, I don't know why it's doing this. All right, I'm gonna let that run, but I'll uh, go over it. Here, um, try now. Yeah, hold on. I think it's something with my internet because it's not, it's like totally doing this weird refresh thing. Mm. All right, no, I'll just show it. So, sorry. So you're here. The same arm that you went and picked up the leg is now going to shelf the leg here, right? Shelf the leg. The inside, so your partner's leg is right here. The other leg is right here, right? So you have their leg. So you're going to go um, kind of thigh pry inside, holding the leg here. And then you're going to step over this leg. And now that shoulder, you're going to use home to press the shoulder down. Yeah. So you're here. You're here, you're gonna pass the leg over to the arm that you picked, thigh pry, and then boom. So it's really one, you're gonna go boom. And yeah, so you guys practice that and let me see if I can find the video. So try the other side if you haven't yet.
Yeah, I don't know where it is. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, sorry. But I, I you guys got it right. So boom, block the leg, and then step. Boom. So the leg that's outside, really like you're here, boom, shelf, block, and then step and pull. With the shoulder now, there's this shoulder versus this shoulder is the opposite shoulder now, boom. All right, uh, let's, so again, together, boom, shelf, right arm block, and then right shoulder, right? You're gonna, you're gonna step, over and right shoulder. So here, boom, 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 shelf, block, step. So again, boom, 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 walking around, shelf, block, and then step. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Molly. Okay, so we'll do the, the final drill. <laughs> so, um, so for the grappling part, um, we're going to call those, um, so there'll be two things you could do. The first one is the first, the, one of them will be five prime. So that's when we just did. So that one, you can come in, grab, holding it, pry, throw back. So that's thigh pry. And then the other one will be the same, will be the first one, but with the switch. So the, um, what should that be called? That's going to be called switch. So that's come in, grab, got the thing. We do the first takedown. What's this one, right? Bam, and then second one, the switch sides. So, um, so in either case, you're going to start with the original, you know, grab, and then either do the thigh pry move or do the first takedown, second takedown. That one will be called switch. So, and I'm going to yell. I'm going to also say right or left. So, if if it's right, you do the move with picking up with your right, left picking up with your left. If that's too much, like I'm not, you know, if you're feeling like no, I just want to do it on one side because. I'm still kind of getting those moves, then just ignore the right and left and just do it on the side you want to do it on. But um, if you're able, um, do it right and left. You know, um, it's a lot to take in. So, you know, if, it, if, if that's too much, don't do it. Um, so, just, so, yeah. yeah, no, uh, in, in jujitsu, they call it negative side. If you're going one and then you, when you switch oh. to the other side, it's the negative side. If negative side for, yeah. well, I mean, but what, what are we going to call it's negative? Side? You go boom and then they. Oh, then so the. So that's the one, the one I was calling switch, should we call negative side? Oh, well, no, no. Well, we'll call whatever you want, but. No, no, I just want to know what thing you're saying we should call negative side. Because I said it. Would be where you try the first one. Oh, right? Got it. right. And that's then good. They, they don't go down and then you do the negative side. Awesome. Okay, good. So that one's called negative side. Awesome. No, I want to use the right words. That's great. Um, I just wasn't sure if you meant for the right and left or for the, um, oh, yeah. for that. So, um, so uh, okay, good. So there'll be negative side or thigh pride. Um, and then um, the um, the kickboxing drills will be combo um, one is going to be step step. What do we do? <laughs> I have to remember. It. I remember. It. Jab. It's going to be slip slip jab cross pivot cross hook kick. Let's just do the first two. So we'll poke back, uh, emphasize that 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 movement. You know the front pivot. So combo one is going to be. Jab, oh, I'm sorry. I keep forgetting it. Slip. Slip, slip, jab, cross, pivot, cross, hook, kick. And combo two is any amount of jabs you want, spin kick. So those are combo one and combo two. Um, combo two, I think is pretty straightforward. Combo one, just one more time. Slip, slip, jab, cross, pivot, cross, hook, kick. So everyone got all those? So you're gonna be moving around in your, you know, either shadow boxing or shadow grappling. And then those are the commands I could yell. Plus could be, you know, anything else like sprawl or throw 10 punches or whatever. So we're gonna do a four minute round of that. So, and go. Start moving around, shadow boxing or shadow grappling. Combo one. Combo two. Left thigh pry. 
take your time, get the movement. Left, negative side. Kickboxing, you can just stay in your regular stance unless you want to switch. Combo two. Sprawl. Right, thigh pry. Right, negative side, negative side. I said it weird. Combo one. Combo two. Sprawl. Thigh pry, left. Thigh pry, right. Combo two. Negative stance left. Thigh pry left. Ten straight punches. Four straight punches and then sprawl. Come up, four more punches. Combo two. I started in combo one. <laughs> combo one. Thigh pry, whichever side you like. Negative stance, your side preference. Negative side, I'm trying to say negative stance. Even though I know negative side. Nice, good work. All right, so grab a spot for meditation. Note too that um, the, the um, takedowns that Molly was showing would also work off of kick catches, especially off the um, push kick. If you catch it, move to the side. So it's very Sancho relevant. All right, so um, you can just go right into meditation. So close your eyes, begin breathing in through your nose, um, out through your nose, but if you're still catching your breath, you could breathe out through your mouth till you're ready. And then when you're, um, Feeling ready, you can just still your mind, try to slow your breathing down, and try to stay um, completely in the present, not getting involved with any thoughts that arise.
We could take three deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Ready, you could open your eyes, clasp your hands, and twist, look back one direction, twist the other direction, back to center. Let's raise one hand, stretch to the side. Other hand, same thing. Let's take one arm, stretch it across. Other side. And then you can release your legs, shake them out a little bit, rub them a little, feel like it. All right, thank you. I have to go in a minute, but